Hi Girl Scouts! Betsy Nichols here, Program Specialist for the Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines, returning to you from Duluth, Minnesota. This video is part two of four for the Brownie Think Like an Engineer journey. Today I will be guiding you through the second design challenge of the journey, but first let's get started with the Girl Scout Promise and the Girl Scout Law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Great. So today our design challenge is all about helping people who don't have enough water. So today we are going to look at how we might be able to do that. So when an engineer decides to test an idea, she often develops a prototype so she can show her invention to others. The prototype is a rough model of what your idea is that you can show to other people. It can be as simple as a drawing, or it can be created with things like cardboard, string, uh, rubber bands, anything else you have. So today we are going to make a prototype of something that can help us save water. Have you ever seen someone wasting water? Um, are there th ways that people collect water now? Is there a way that you could make those designs better? These are things that we ourselves are going to explore today. So, to get started with building our prototypes for saving water, there are a couple things that I want you to try to find around your house. Let's see if we can find any toilet paper or paper towel rolls, empty cans or jars, construction paper or poster board, markers or pens or pencils, glue, scissors, string and rubber bands. So I'm going to take a moment to try to find these items around my house. Why don't you take a moment to do the same and we will meet right back and see what we could find. I'm back with my team of supplies. This is what I was able to round up. I have some plain white um, printer paper. I didn't have any poster board, so I allowed myself some cardboard. I also have an empty Girl Scout cookie box. I have um, some toilet paper rolls just for some good measure, I guess. I have empty glass jars. Didn't have any um, paint stirrers or sticks. So I have markers if I need something kind of stick-like. And then no rubber bands here, so I have some hair ties. I also have my scissors, a glue stick, and some twine. So I am going to get to building. Why don't you do the same? And I will be right back with my prototype. I'm back with my prototype. So um, what I was kind of going for was a rain collection device. So I kind of expanded on the glass jar and I created a half funnel to catch rain and direct it into the glass jar and so I t uh, glued that down and I also um, I was having a hard time uh, gluing the cardboard of the cookie box to the glass jar so I added a strip of paper in between and that helped it adhere more and then I also added in a hair tie just to um, give it some extra strength and then I added this extra piece to help uh, direct the water into the glass jar so that water wouldn't get stuck in between the cardboard and the, um, and the jar. So I wanna catch as much water as I can. So I'm gonna take this over to my kitchen sink and give it a test and I will meet you at my kitchen sink. I am at my kitchen sink. I am going to turn on this spray nozzle right here and 
pretend that it is a rain shower and see how good my water saving device is at catching the raindrops. It looks like we caught quite a bit of water. I'm very happy with how that turned out. Okay, let's discuss what we just did. We were challenged to create a prototype for an item that would save water. So for me, this was a hard one to do um, because how can I save water? Well, normally I save water by turning the faucet off while I'm brushing my teeth, by cutting down on showers. And so it was hard for me to think about what kind of device do I want to save water? And when I thought about it, I realized that something that I would like to have would be a device that would catch rainwater for um, my plants that I have inside. So that was kind of where I started with my thinking process. Maybe you approached it differently and that's great. Um, so if you noticed, mine was made out of cardboard and that wouldn't really hold up over time, right? Maybe I could use that for one or two rainstorms, um, but eventually that cardboard would break down and it would get really soggy. Um, and so that's why what we made today is a prototype. So if I wanted to create a water saving device um, that I could give to all my friends and family, well, I would have to find someone to help me build um, my device based off of the prototype that I made today. And so maybe it would be made out of metal, maybe it would be made out of plastic, um, but I used the cardboard today to show what I would like it to look like. And so that was my prototype. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that your designing and building went well. Let's close things out with make new friends and we'll do a friendship circle. So sing it with me. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. A circle is round, it has no end. That's how long I want to be your friend. Bye Girl Scouts. <laughs>